What's up guys? Today I'll be going over the uh, God DH build, which is really good for uh, speed GRs and uh, super fun to play while pushing as well. I'll be going over the items, uh, skills, paragons, my follower, everything you'll need to get started and uh, rocking and rolling pretty good. Uh, it's really good for just blasting through GRs. And, and uh, for the gear, uh, I'll start with shoulders. Um, you just kind of want to go for most uh, toughness you can on pretty much most of your armor, like dex, vit, resistances. Uh, for the shoulders, if you're pushing um, cooldown and area damage, you can see I only have the cooldown in this. Uh, this is just my speed running set, so I don't need a whole lot of area damage. But when you start getting into the higher rifts, you'll probably need uh, a little bit more. For my gloves, I have uh, crit crit area damage with dex. Uh, you could go for cooldown uh, if you're just doing like speed runs. Area damage isn't super important uh, early on, but when you start getting into the higher levels, like I said, you'll you'll need more and more area damage. For the rings, you want crit crit, uh, probably dex or crit crit damage, uh, flat damage. You can see I have crit and flat damage on this one. I'm still looking for some better gear. It's still uh, early on in the season, but uh, I think in a perfect world, crit crit flat damage, ancient, and then augment it with dex. Uh, for the bow. Uh, I have a Primal Fortress Ballista. Um, this is just, like I said, this is my speed build. If I was running uh, higher GRs, I'd probably prioritize my Dawn, which I do have a Primal Dawn that I also crafted. Uh, on the 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 weapons, probably uh, percent damage, area damage, and cooldown uh, are the the best things. But as you can see on this one, I have uh, Dex, area damage, and cooldown. On my other one, I have percent and cooldown. Uh, as much cooldown as you can get to make sure that your uh, your vengeance is on 100% uptime. Uh, just for the extra tankiness, you always want that to be up as long as possible, uh, if not 100%. Uh, it also gives you uh, more damage too, so it's always a bonus. Uh, for my helmet, um, dex fit or dex resistance crit chance would be the prioritization. Uh, the chest piece is just for tankiness really, just dex fit resistances. You see I have this one augmented. So uh, just as long as you have dex and resistances, like I said, you can always put more paragons in uh, vitality. So resistances are the priority. Uh, for my belt and pants, uh, dex, resistance, and hungry and arrow is probably the prioritization. But you can see I have dex, vit, resistances, and hungry and arrow on the belt. Dex, resistance, hungry and arrow on the pants. For boots, you can kind of do uh, just whatever, really. I mean, dex, vit, resistances, dex, vit, armor. Uh, the movement speed you don't really need because you can just get 25% in your paragons. But I did take 12% on here, and I put the rest in my paragon. So I'm hitting that cap of 25%. Uh, for my amulet, it's going to be crit crit cold damage or crit cold damage of some kind of form. If you have crit crit dex, that's fine too. Uh, for my sh bracers, uh, it is guardians. I have the three piece set, and this is a great set this season for more damage and tankiness. It's amazing. Uh, I have cold and crit chance on this. I think those are the top two, and then the rest are kind of whatever. Uh, dex bit resistances are always good too. And then for my skills, um, oops, uh, hungry and arrow, devouring arrow on my left click. Uh, I have strafe with drifting shadow on my right click. Um, smoke screen displacement on my Q just for the uh, increased movement speed when I use it. Uh, mark for death. Some people use like Phantom Knives for extra tankiness. Uh, I just like a little extra damage on there. I use Valley of Death. I just drop it on big packs or elites when I'm going. Definitely the boss. So that that helps get you a, a little bit more damage when you're, when you're pushing through. Um, companion, Wolf Companion uh, for the extra damage on there as well. It also buffs your party members, so this is nice. If you're running with people, you can use buff uh, Wolf Companion to buff them and their damage. Um, I use Vengeance Dark Heart just for the extra tankiness. This one gives you 50% uh, damage taken redu reduction when you use your Vengeance, so that's nice. You definitely need tankiness. Um, and I run hardcore, so I'm trying to get as much uh, tankiness and damage kind of split between the both. Uh, I run Ambush, Archery, Awareness, and Call of the Weak. Uh, if you're on soft core, you could swap awareness out for you know something else, maybe steady aim or maybe some more tankiness with perfectionist. Um, just depends on uh, what you want to roll. Uh, there's a few different options, but I have to run awareness because uh, hardcore. Uh, so for my follower, um, this is uh, this is nice. Uh, if you're struggling and you you need to squeeze out a few more uh, 
rifts or you're trying to hit that you're hit kind of hit a cap this will help you get another couple of tiers higher and greater rifts uh, depending on how you set up your follower you want to try to get them as close to 25,000 decks or whatever the 25 intelligence for enchantress whatever you're running uh, most of them run pretty much the same gear uh, beside the weapon um, there's a couple of variations but this is pretty standard for um, you know what I'm running I have blind faith um, just for the blind on hit um, I use this just so I can get out in sketchy situations if I'm having a shitty rift or uh, stuff's just not I'm just not gonna make it um, I use these to get out um, gloves of worship uh, for the extra shrine last 10 minutes when you use your potions now if you have the altar uh, when you're getting those buffs from the altar um, this makes your shrines last 10 minutes so that's pretty nice um, Aquila's Cure Ass, I just had an ancient of it, so that's nice. Um, flavor of Time, very important, very important for the extra time on the pylons. Uh, definitely have to have this on your follower. You must have this. Uh, Nems, just for the sp uh, the, the pack packs of elites when you're clicking pylons and shrines and stuff. <laughs> that's pretty standard as well. Uh, and then Oculus Ring, you want to try to find one that has a, a decently high percent uh, on the Oculus. Uh, Cluck Eye, just... Um, just for the CC on the enemies, uh, it helps out a bit. And then Ice Climbers. Depth Diggers, I just had Ancient of, so I just threw them on. I'm trying to get them higher decks. Uh, if you w want, uh, you could put, you see I have a few Emeralds in them just to kind of get them almost there. You could also augment your uh, your followers' gear. I don't know if, you know, some people might not know that. Uh, so you can augment their gear just in case you need a little extra dexterity. I use a Resistance Potion, by the way just for the extra resistance when I'm um, going through the rifts. You need as much resistance as you can possibly get. And for the altar prioritization, um, it's kind of hard to say. I have all of them unlocked. Uh, I would probably just say try to get your altar done as quick as possible. And if you do finish your altar, anytime you drop a primal, you'll get a second one. And yesterday while I was running, I found 12 primals in one day just because of this. I would normally have found six, which is already a lot. <laughs> so I found 12 yesterday. I only had one usable one, I think. It was um, some primal shoulders. They, they had the exact same stats as these ones, which kind of sucks. I would have rather they had, like, dex resistance, uh, area damage, and cooldown. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. We're getting there. It's still early on in the season. And then for my Paragons, um, if you don't have the 800 to unlock these all the way, uh, I'll show you the, uh, the way I prioritized. Uh, and here I did resource cost reduction, then area damage, life per hit, and then gold radius last. Um, these ones are pretty close though. It depends on how your resistance or uh, your resource cost reduction is. These either one that if you need one over the other. Uh, if you already have great resource cost reduction, then hey, area damage. Uh, for defenses, always resistance first, 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 first. Resistance is first, then life, then armor, uh, and then life regen. Uh, for offense, um, this one can be also kind of tricky. I prioritize just straight down the line, attack speed, cooldown, crit, crit damage. Um, I don't know. It just depends on these, I guess. Um, straight down the line is a solid choice, I would say. And getting to 800 is really fast, so you'll just get all these knocked out pretty quick. Um, dexterity, uh, vitality, movement speed, and hatred. Um, between these ones, probably... Uh, depending on your tankiness, uh, at the begin the first a few days, I had no decks, all of it, just to make myself tankier because I'm playing hardcore. Uh, if you're on softcore, you could just full decks. Um, I don't need the extra hatred because with the uh, altar, I get hatred back on crit, crit hits. Um, so I have movement speed on my boots, so I just make sure I'm not going over the cap. So I have some in movement speed. Uh, the cap is 25%. I don't know if people uh, may not know that, but uh, 25 is the cap. So... Uh, summon movement speed and then there's the rest in decks uh, I also use diamonds I might do the same thing on uh, softcore just for the extra survivability uh, but if you want a full send just throw in emeralds um, also I used to use wraps of clarity in hunter's wrath on here um, but with the new guardian set uh, it's just really juiced for getting much more decks and uh, more survivability so um, I use Hunter's Wrath in my cube. I'll show you my cube real quick. Oops, that's not it. Um, here we go. So I have Night Siri, Hunter's Wrath, and then Rorg, just for the uh, three set on this, and then, of course, my six set on God set. So uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, I stream every day on Twitch. 
Uh, I'll have the link in the description below. Um, it's also twitch.tv forward slash X Epic Death X. Uh, feel free to hop in if you have any questions. I, uh, I'll go over builds. Uh, if you have just whatever it is, it's always a good time in there. So with that being said, hey, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the build. If you do, drop a like. Uh, always appreciated. So uh, good luck out there blasting, guys. Uh, I love you long time, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Later, y'all.